When people talk about artificial intelligence and robots replacing jobs, they're usually talking about something like manufacturing or accounting. They're not talking about musicians. But in music, there's already a robot named Ava that's recognized as a composer by a French performance rights organization. And the mastering service Lander uses AI to master your track in minutes with no human input. There's even software that makes new, unique drum samples from scratch using AI. So let's dive into artificial intelligence in the music industry and why it's actually more exciting than scary. You might have seen plugins like Captain Chords. All you have to do is select a key and a scale and then you select a progression and then you pick a rhythm then it spits out a chord progression It took barely any human input to make that chord progression, but that actually isn't AI. This plugin is really just taking progressions and rhythms that have been pre-programmed in there by the developers. So what is artificial intelligence then? Well, it's software that can take old data points and learn new data points and use all that data to make its own decisions with no human input. Think about Tesla's self-driving software. It's collecting data from every self-driving Tesla on the road, then it's using that data to make itself better. So it's an endless loop that keeps on improving itself even without human input. In music, I mentioned the AI composer named Ava. Ava learned how to compose music by analyzing the MIDI data of over 30,000 famous songs. It looked for patterns in those songs and came up with mathematical rules to follow for each different genre. And anyone can try this out for themselves. Here's their website. All I have to do is hit create track. I'll pick the style I want. I'll pick the emotion I want. And I'll pick five songs. So it's gonna generate five different tracks. So this robot just made five unique tracks for me in under a minute. Let's test one of them out. So it made a drum beat, a bass line, some chords, and some vocal melody thing, and arranged them all together in different sections. But let's be honest, compared to anything you would hear on the top Spotify charts, this sounds pretty awful. It sounds like a 10-year-old that just discovered Ableton for the first time. Still, how Ava is learning to make music isn't that different from how we learn how to make music. Whether you're conscious of it or not, your brain is taking data into account whenever it's listening to music. You identify patterns and sounds in your favorite songs, and you use that to influence what music you make. If you were born in a vacuum and had never heard any other music before, you would make some pretty awful music without anyone else's influence. The reason music is so good these days is because there's this endless cycle of music producers learning from each other's music, and our collective knowledge keeps pushing music forward. The main difference, though, is that a computer could listen to thousands of songs in an hour and take all that data in and remember it forever. Humans take a lot longer to learn, but that doesn't mean we're not insanely smart. So Ava here has learned how to compose and arrange a very basic track, but there's a lot more that goes into making music than that. Today, music producers know what drum samples sound good based on current trends. They layer complex sounds to make them sound more full. They add effects and processing to sounds to improve them. They add automation to control the energy and create contrast. They design custom synth sounds based on the vibe of a song. And of course, we can mix and master everything as well. And this is all done with your unique taste that you've developed by listening to music and making music over time. There's so much nuance to music production that we don't even think about, and I think it's going to take robots a really long time to learn how to do all of those things. What we can do, though, is use these AI tools to help us make better music. I think they'll be more like assistants in the future than actually replacing us. But right now, I really feel like most of these tools aren't even good enough to use as an assistant yet. For example, you can use AI to master your track with Lander. Here's a Lander master compared to my own master. Nothing can touch the divine I have inside of me There may be moments in time when it gets hard to see But I can never be blind to my own chemistry Just gotta make it through the beauty of this mystery And you can 
use tools like Ava to write random chord progressions and bass lines for you. But so far, I wouldn't use any of the progressions I've come up with Ava to start my own song. I'd rather just mess around on my MIDI keyboard and come up with an idea. I think I could come up with something better that would fit the exact style that I'm going for. Isotope has a plugin called Neutron 3. The advanced version can use AI to help you mix an entire song with as many tracks as you want to throw at it. Let's do an example with one of my own tracks. I've loaded up all the stems from the track in a new project, then I put Isotope Relay on all the tracks. Then on the master output, I put Neutron 3 and go through the mix assistant. Once I play the song all the way through, it mixes the volume of every track. So it's super easy to set up. It takes almost no work. But here's the finished mix from Neutron. Nothing can touch the divine I have inside of me. And here's my mix. Nothing can touch the divine I have inside of me. There may be moments in time when it gets hard to I really don't think any of these tools are as good as the human brain yet, but they're gonna get better every year, and they're gonna allow us to make music faster than ever before. Still, we need to figure out how they're gonna help us make music better, not just faster.